I'm Mark Greenstein, and I wanted to address how the parents of students in the class of 2026 should address college admissions and the SAT. Um, that means in 2023, your kids are freshmen. So typically, that's a long way off, but it's becoming less typical because parents have been planning well in advance, and it makes sense. It especially makes sense now because we know the SAT is changing and that will happen in 2024. It goes to an online test, which doesn't necessarily make it easier or harder. It's just different. And we know that there's some ambitious now freshmen who would like to make a mark, get a good credential. And I do encourage it. And here's why. Because of the unknown in the future, but the known goodness of a credential that you could mash, nail in 2023 as early sophomores, I believe testing with the current test makes sense. If your child was prepared anyway to be doing some studying, please don't postpone it because the study that you do now, if you need a test later on in a different format, will still have paid off because the skills you get, the skills for math, grammar, reading are not going to change dramatically. The scaling might. Okay. And yeah. the level of so competitiveness more, might. Forward, more like the right now, kids who test in 2023, high, even though they're not even two years, they're more than two years from graduation, from that to me means a, a smaller pool of kids and a very good chance to stand out. Colleges want to see standout scores. They always have. And so a standout we know is attainable because we've been coaching the SAT for over 20 years. We've been coaching it very well in every format so far. It has taken longer to catch up whenever they change formats. So the coaching for anyone that'll happen soon after the changeover is probably not going to be as good as what we do now which we've been doing for the last six and a half years. There's another reason for early testing. Early testing can get students credentials for things that might be even more important than the SAT. A good SAT score can help a student land an internship, help a student be awarded a scholarship, help a student maybe get into a summer college admission program, college learning experience, I should say, uh, Harvard, most of the Ivies, a good number of schools on the West Coast and in the South. They offer good summer programs that are good learning opportunities, nice credentials in themselves, and possibly a gateway when it comes time to writing your application that I know Johns Hopkins, I know Duke, I've experienced two months at UCLA. These would help most students in their applications. Final thing for the class of 2026. We have seen in my 40 years of uh, taking and coaching SAT, we've seen three prior format changes. Okay, happened in 1995, again in 2006, again in 2016. In every case, Colleges accepted scores from the prior version of the SAT, even if they were over a year old. A great score meant to them, the student under standardized conditions was a top 2% performer. Let her in. I expect the same thing coming with this change in 2024. I'm Mark Greenstein for Ivy Bound and for all of you in our corner.